right? That's the strip of sex. On how, um, oh uh, man, how am I gonna say this? The strip of sex that the enemy dislikes the fact that he teaches for son, something like that, man. Oh, uh, uh, he that, um, Grievous his son. Right. Uh, he that teaches his son, Grievous yeah, the enemy. Right. See that puppet mouth here. So that's that's the way that's that's it right there. So Esau don't want these kids or the Israelite men to teach these children who they are and to teach them that he's the devil. Because then guess what? That's gonna upset the plans of the elite. Alright, go on. Alright. And that's why they set up these school systems, these program centers. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> Proverbs, I mean, so that's yeah. Psalms uh, 119 verse 100. Mm. I understand more than the ancients because I kept thy precepts. Right. I have refrained my feet from every evil way. Right. I refrained. We, we, that's talking about us. We refrained our feet from every evil way. Go on. That I might keep thy word. Yep. I have not departed from thy judgments, for thou hast taught me yeah. how sweet are thy words unto my taste. Come on. Yea. Sweeter than honey to the mouth. Right. Through thy precept, I get understanding. Right. Through thy precept, I get understanding. That's what we was talking about. That's what we should have brought out earlier. When we was dealing with the whole Cornelia situation, and the whole Acts, what is it, 15 situation. So the way you get understanding of what James is like here, when James is going up, you gotta read Amos 9 and other verses to back it up. Yeah. And then also get understanding of the precepts pursuant to our uh, Acts the 10th chapter and Romans 11. I think you did bring it out earlier though. I think you brought it out earlier. You did, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you did. Alright. Yeah, go on. Therefore I hate every false way. Right, and therefore I hate every false way. So the more you um, connect the dots with these precepts and the more you read the scriptures, like is what it's saying, you're able to stand up more right. You're able to do exactly what's right because you've read the book and now you know what you need to do. You know what's required of you going with it. Think so? Yeah, because if you look at um, their youth, they've got no structure, no discipline. And really, it's not their fault, the parents, right? right? Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. Yeah. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Right, and that's just what it is. So, you know, when you can set up a society that, you know, dysfunctionalizes everybody in terms of their household, if one generation is destroyed because of that movement that took place, then ultimately the rest is gonna the, the rest are gonna fall uh, fell or fall. So who's gonna be able to teach you? You're not gonna have any teachers in a family that can teach your sons or your your, um, your daughters what to do and how to conduct themselves. Guess what? Because they were taught by society. Now your children are gonna be sent to these schools and they're gonna be taught by the same society that your parents were taught in. Okay? So he saw sort of made sure that, look, man, that parents don't teach their own kids. Going back to the precept, because, um, what's the, what's the truth brother when says, um, if you, the enemy, oh, I, I, I don't know, what yeah? Yeah, no, read the scripture, because I'm gonna, I'm getting it wrong. Say the S or something. Yeah, teach my son. It's like, what is the, the phrase? You know, it's like right now, the main enemy is Esau. So it, it's, it's, you know, it's a grievance to the enemy that will teach him the truth of the whole matter, all right? Because this society is not concerned with truth. This society is concerned with lies and deceit and keeping the people at bay in, in, in terms of their delusion. And that's how Esau runs and keeps the society going is by keeping the people in the state of that delusion that they're created for. Ecclesiasticus 30, verse 3. And that goes back to the curses because single parent mothers, you know, a woman in general, man, she's got no wisdom. Add to the fact you've got curses on you. Yeah, you're, you're doing for failure. Yeah, it's all about failure, man. Because one thing with Esau, Esau knows if, if Jake get back in their right mind, then they're gonna call they're gonna call upon the Lord and the Lord is gonna have to raise us up out of here pursuant to the book of Kings. So Esau did a very good job. And for his survival to maintain his empire, he he, he had to do what he had to do what he had to do. Go on, bro. 
We'll go get that person out for Done, man. That's why you have all this confusion out here. This Esau, so-called white man, deceive all these people into this nonsense, man. Start from verse 1, yeah? Yeah. Uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 30, verse 1. He that loveth his son chastiseth him right. often yeah. to fill the rod that he may have joy of him in the end. Right, you can't treat your kids a certain way. And so if they do, your kids would be able to go to the government and um, that problem would be the um, salt. Okay? Mm. And in that way, they'll take your kids from you. Yeah. So you can't even discipline your child, your children. Because everybody's built to be a state in this society according to the ways of this world. And Esau, that's, that's how Esau keeps control of the masses. Go on, brother. Right, Deuteronomy 6 and 6. It says, And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto right. thy children, right. and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, right. and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. Right, so as the scripture saith, right, a woman lacks understanding, or lacks wisdom, we so to Job 39 and 15. So if you take the man of the house, or the Israelite man of the house, how is that young boy going to learn the statutes commandments? He won't be able to do it. So instead of learning the statutes of commandments, he's going to learn something else. And that's something else he's going to learn is what came from the school systems. The program centers, I call them. That's all they are, the program centers. So while the parent is at work doing what they're supposed to be doing, your children are being programmed. Mm. All right? Go on. Okay. Finish? Okay. Okay. All right. Ecclesiastes 30, verse uh, 1. Yeah. He that loveth his son, that causeth him to fill the rod, right. that he may have joy of him in the end. Right, go on. Right. Verse 2. That's that discipline. Go on. Yeah. He that chastiseth his son shall have joy of him, yeah. and shall rejoice of him among his acquaintance. Yeah. Verse 3. He that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy. Right, he that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy. And the main enemy of our people is the so-called army. Okay? That's the numero uno enemy of our people. So it would grieve him or they. And so in terms of us teaching our children this truth. Because once they know this truth, they'll know who the devil is. They'll know exactly what's going on. But if you have a bunch of mothers raising your children, your mom's gonna tell you, or you gotta go along to get along. All right? Because a woman is naturally dependent. So if a house is ruled by somebody that's dependent, the whole household is gonna be dependent. And then you're gonna have a group of men that don't know how to be men. All right? So instead of being men and taking charge of the household, they're not gonna have a clue how to do it. Because all they were, all they knew is their mothers and their aunts and all that. All right? And Esau did very well to make sure that that was the trend. Around yeah. the world, because if you have a dependent household or households of the people, then people can't rise up. All right, and do what's right. It can't work. So the Lord has uh, has reserved men, okay, or should I say, reserved men to the to the to the program of the heavenly Father. Now we're standing up for something. Because now we have the spirit of, of what a man is supposed, is supposed to be. A man is supposed to stand up for certain things. Right. Yeah. Serious for a bit. Deuteronomy chapter 21 verse 18. Yeah. If a man have a stubborn and rebellious son, right. which will not obey the voice of his father, okay, or the voice of his mother, okay, and that when they have chastened him, right. will not hearken unto them, right. then shall his father and his mother lay hold on him okay. and bring him out yeah. unto the elders and of bring the city. Him out unto the elders of the city, go on. And unto the gate of his place. Uh -huh. And they shall say unto the elders of yeah. the city. Yeah. This, our son, is stubborn and rebellious. Right. He will not obey our voice. He is a glutton and a drunkard. Oh, man. So that's talking about a guy that just does what he wants to do and doesn't want to obey his parents. And he's out and about drinking himself to death. Like these cats out here going. And all the men of the city yeah. shall stone him. Right. And all the men of the city shall what? Stone him huh? with stone. Right. That he died. Right, that he died. 
while you proceed to he don't wanna he don't wanna follow his parents. All right, and, and and you know what is when we even go as far as saying this because you got those little gremlins in the ghetto, okay? Those little hookum guys and niggas in the ghetto, just walking around and smoking weed and talking shit all day. Hey man, that would that issue would be be taken care of if the parents were in in unison together and, and had the understanding, and you wouldn't have no just you wouldn't have no criminal activity going. Mm. Had those children been stoned to death. All right, because see, the reason why you have all of these thugs out there is you have you, you know you had one kid that showed an example of unrighteousness, and everybody followed that trend. That's it. Okay. It's like when we used to do that, we used to do it in front of the other um, uh, uh, youth in Israel, man. Right. So they'll see that guy getting stoned. Yep. You won't, you won't have um, no gangs. No. Think about it. Someone gets you know what I mean. Uh, you're in a gang. This is what happens to them. Yep. Bang. You know what I mean. They just get. Then he did, yep. so he finished. Yep. So shout that put evil away from among you. Right, because that's the show and example. That's why everybody was seeing what was going down. To show an example. To put fear in the people that look, when you raise your children, okay, and they disobey your, your commands, put them to death. Yep. Alright? Stone them, put them to death. Right. So that you can pretty much lead. Leave out from among you evil. Take evil from among us. But the way the society is set up is all set up based on to promote evil. Right. To promote um, what is it? Degradation amongst the household. That's what the society is all about. So the more degradable the household is, or the household of, of everybody out here in the society, the more people will become sick. And when you're sick, you become what dependent. Right. So it's that's how they set it up. Go on, brother. Uh, this is 2 Timothy 3 and 15. No, start from 14. Mm. It says, but continue thou in the things which thou hast right, learned. It says, continue thou in the things which thou hast learned. Go on. And hast been assured of, uh -huh. knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Right. And that from a child that thou hast known the Holy Scriptures. Right, and from a child thou hast known the Holy, the holy Scriptures. Now child. that's metaphorical because all of us came in as young men. We weren't little children, but we came in as young men. All right, but we became like an utter little children because we were born again. Yeah. Born, but which are able to make thee wise unto salvation. What's going to make us wise unto salvation? It's true. It's Bible. The word of the heavenly Father is what's going to pretty much it's going to give you the ticket to your salvation, or is the ticket to your salvation? Let me say that. And the only the only people that can receive the salvation are the Israelites, even on that side. Okay. Which are able to make thee wise unto salvation. Which are, able, right, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation. So this gives you the wisdom and understanding of your salvation. Not what the pastors saying, because the pastors, they, they can't break the scriptures down. They have not a clue how to break the scriptures down. Okay? But we do. Go on. Through faith, which is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Right, but through faith, which is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. So we have faith in the, the wisdom and understanding of our salvation. Which concludes the Bible. All scripture is given by inspiration of Yahweh and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in right. righteousness. So when you come out here and teach, you're supposed to do just that. Correct, reprove, and rebuke. Pursuant to what is it? I believe it's the book of Timothy, right? It says, Go ye out in the hours and be instant in season and out of season. And um we do rebuke and all long suffering. Right. So that's what we're supposed to do. We ain't supposed to come out here and just pretty much teach one way. Every Israelite you see, you want to reason with them. Nah, man, you can't do that. All right, if a guy's going up, you're supposed to recruit that guy so that you can correct them and show them his error. So, uh, Isaiah 58 and 1. Because they always tell us, they always try to tell us how to do it. But the Lord has got the blueprint, man. Right? But you can't tell us how to do it. Because in order for you to tell us how to do it, why don't you go and do it? It's going, brother. Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift thy voice like a trumpet, right. and show my people their transgression. Right, so you're supposed to pretty much, like I said, reprove and rebuke. You're supposed to do a hard one, man. You're supposed to give it all you got, man. Not, not trying to reason with everybody because he's from this tribe or that tribe. You're supposed to get on Jake. Tell Jake where they're going off at, man. 
and exalt the voice while you're doing so. Okay, go on. And show my people their transgression. Show my people their transgression, where they're sinning. That's what the word transgression means. The word transgression means sin. All right, so sir, you got a question or anything like that? Sir, you have a question? Yeah, what's your question? Yes, the question is, uh, so this, what, what these pictures are all false? Well, the reason why we got that picture, because see, everybody believes that that's the Jesus Christ in the Bible. But that picture right there is more of a biblical description. Okay? So we're going to show you in the scripture. Get Revelation 1 to the show you about this. According to the Bible, the rule of the world called Jesus Christ, which is real name is Jehovah Shah, it looks more like this man over here. You know? Where you going, brother? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Alright, so Revelation 1 and 1, it says the revelation of Jesus Christ, which still gave unto him. Right, so this is the, the revelation of Jesus Christ. The word revelation is still there. Unto his servants, things to us should be unto us. He says, signify the things unto his servant John. Yeah. Verse 13. He says that in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one night unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot. Right, so this man had a garment down to the foot, like in mean, this book, he had a garment down to the foot. Yeah. And girt about the packs with a golden girdle. Yeah, like a golden girdle, you know, a belt. His head and his hairs were white like wool, yeah. as white as snow. Yes, yeah, so he had his hair was full of grain. So that's strike one, because if you look at this image right here, this guy's got like some, some blue head or blonde hair and uh, blue and uh, blue eyes. So that's strike one, go on, brother. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Because he tarried at the wine, he drunk wine. And his feet like unto fine brass. Yeah as if they burned in a furnace. Okay, go on. And his voice as the sound of many wolves. So his foot was, so his feet was, was pretty much burnt like onto fire brass. So there's no such thing as a foolish person. So John, the revelator, when he had the vision, he was, he was bowing down before the Lord, the vision, and he saw his feet. And he was traveling with his feet for fire. And it was pretty much dark brown. Pretty much a dark, dark brown. Go on, brother. And he had to put his hair too, so that's two things. So the man had woolly hair, which if I grow my hair out, it's going to become woolly, like this brother's hair. That's woolly hair. But the only difference is that it was white. Okay, go on. Verse 16, it says, and, and he had in his right hand seven stars, yeah. and out of his mouth went a sharp two edged sword. That's what you know, now what you can get, get all that and some of these type of five. This what you wish to find out right now is God Himself and also the Messiah, the anointed one that will also fall back that door. Well, it's Daniel 10 and 5. Then I lifted up my eyes and looked and behold a certain man. Right, so Daniel saw a, a similar vision. Clothed in linen, his loins were girded with, with, a, with fine gold buffets. Yep. His body also was like the belt. Which was green, he had a green garment on the And his face as the appearance of black. Right, because the wisdom of the stone that he had, go on. And his eyes as lamps of fire. Is he tarried at the wine again, go on. And his arms and his feet like in color to polished brass. Right, his arms and his feet like in color to polished brass. So this is what you call the color of brass. Okay, if I had a brass coin, which would be a bronze coin, and I had it on my hand, you would know it's there. If you look closely, why? Because it's, it's the same color. And the voice of his words, like the voice of a monster. You got a cross court, don't we? Kind of fire on you. You're going, brother. Yeah. So his voice was as the voice of many corners, right? Right. So the idea of a No, because of the wine. Here's a cross court right there. So read that again. It says his body also was like the barrel yep. and his face was the appearance of lightning yep. and his eyes as lamps of fire. Right, because it was red, he had red eyes. And his arms and his feet like in color to polish bronze. Right, so there you go, it's the same skin tone, same skin color. You see? On. And the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude. Yeah, out a loud voice. So the word, so pretty much the Messiah, the Hawashah, the, the Lord Jesus Christ was the so-called black man. And his real name was the Hawashah, the Hebrew. Okay, you can also get on the Daniels. Daniel's, there's another one as well. Daniel's are seven and nine leaders. Yeah. 
Daniel 7 and 9, and I beheld to the thrones will pass. Now this is the most high, this is the great talk. And the ancient of days did sit, yep. whose garment was white as snow, yep. and the hair of his head like the pure wool, and his throne was like a fiery flame, mm -hmm. and his wheels as burning fire. Yeah. And his wheels as burning as some chariots. But his father looked just like the sun. And that's why when you read the New Testament, it says that, um, you see me, you see the father, you get it? Matter of fact, you can even get that punishment, by the way. You get it? Get it? Okay, get it. Sorry to interrupt you, brother. I watch a lot of Hebrews and powerful stuff. Yeah. Like, where you contend that you're against the African... Oh, yeah, I've seen Israel is a part of Africa, like North East Africa. Is it an African tradition? Well, I'm going to explain, and that's, that's the point of that. Now, when we say we don't like Africans, what are we really saying? We're saying we don't, we don't... The Hamites don't like them. Right, there you, know. you go. Because you have different dominations. Now, even in Africa alone, where are you from, by the way? Congo. I can tell, right? I mean, I couldn't tell you it's actually from Congo, but I can tell you is that you're an Israelite. Because the Israelites... Because the, um, the people that are in West Africa predominantly, a lot of them are, um, are either from the tribe of Judah, Benjamin or Levi, the same people that serve the tribe down the state tree. Okay? And um, those people, it was prophesied that they would be under those curses of being scattered abroad and put on slave ships. Okay? But when you look at the Hamites, to further go on to your, um, your question, when you look at the Hamites, and you look at the Hebrews, they have a different look. I'll take them now. They have a different look to them. Like when you look at the Hamites, their head is a lot more bigger. Okay, they got a different figure, they walk funny. They don't have a, there's a certain vibe. They, there's a certain vibe they got that's kind of weird. But when you look at our people, especially the West African people, they got style, they got some kind of swagger. You know, they got they got soul. They got the soul, you know, the soul called. I was going to say that. You know, we are the soul of the earth. So it's telling you that we bring, you know, we bring the faith. Yeah. And then how much time bring that faith? They don't bring the faith. So that the Most High chose these people and created them to be the, the, the um, what is it, the, um, the creme de la creme of the earth. They're gonna have faith. Okay. But yeah, the, the, but yeah, you would be an Israelite. You would be an Israelite, of course. I can tell by your features, your look, and your spirit. I got another question as well. Okay. When it comes to the Bible, you have different sects and factions that come out of the Bible. And to be honest, when I listen to the Israelites, yeah. whenever they have debates with like Christians on the street, yeah. they're always tearing them up. Yeah, 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 yeah. What they're reading doesn't match to what do you get what I'm saying. Yeah. That's, so funny, thing, that's funny you said that because I was talking about that earlier. But my thing is this, like. Like, if you're reading something in Asia, like if we read that scientist that's in underground, yeah. and three different people are reading three different things, right. wouldn't that lead to confusion? It would be. It doesn't really say underground. You just perceive it to, to yeah, say Yeah, because of the meaning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you know, though, but that's, that's a good point, because when you look at the, the English language, the English language is so weak that you could say one word with different meanings on it. But this is why, we, this is why um, the, um, the original language of the planet is the Hebrew. Because you could say a Hebrew word and it means just that one thing. Because the most side of complicated things is that, so, is that man complicated. He saw complicated things. But the most side made, made everything so simple to understand. Alright? But the reason right now, as it stands right now, is so, it's so hard and difficult to find the truth. Why? Because you have a group of people that's in power that complicated a, a hell of a lot of things. And so much so that even if you wanted to find the truth, you really couldn't find it. But you can find the truth is just that the Lord got a deal with you. Okay. Okay, yeah. you got a few stuff? Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to find it. Oh, sorry. I got one. Yeah, okay. Just so I can say that English language is all, like I said, it's yeah. bastardized. It's like bullshit, yeah. Like the prophet said, it's bullshit, man. It's not bullshit, man. Yeah. Because, I mean, even when you were saying about the Christians, yeah. how we tear them up. The reason why we tear the Christians up is because it's not because of Lord, yeah, it's because of Lord ain't dealing with them. But it's really because by their doctrine and their and you know their philosophy in terms of them saying that God died for everybody, they can't back it up with the Bible. Yeah. But we can back our point all day every day. 
that's my thing. If you're a grown person, an mm. adult, you've yep. got your mind and the capabilities to think for yourself. You have to think critically. Like a lot of things that um, Christians put out there, is yeah. that What's that? A lot of things that Christians put out there, is not in the Bible. No, it's not in it. That's what I understand. That's yep. what I don't get. Yeah, that's why I try to explain to my, my, my parents are Christians. Okay. Okay. Christians that are friends of mine. Huh. I'm trying to explain that. Like, for example, that had the Lord done away with. Mm -hmm. Right. But yeah. Jesus himself said out of his own mouth. Right. A man I can't come to outlook it, Lord. I can't right. forgive it. Right. So what? That's what right. are people reading? This is my problem with it. Right. Romans and 11 that, and 7. That's one of the reasons why I refrain from the Bible sometimes. Because I'm like, okay. there's so many people. Why are they reading? With the confusion. Yeah, with the confusion. confusion. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's Romans 11 and 7, it says, What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, huh. but the election hath obtained it, yep. and the rest were blind. And that's the point, because see, you, you could take two people and have them read the Bible. One may understand it, and one may not understand it. They may come from, a, they, they come from the tradition, or the you know, Christianity, which is a traditional tradition, and they'll read it from that perspective. But the way we're reading them, because we've been taught, okay, by a certain men of the Lord is dealing with, and now the Lord is dealing with us to a certain degree. That's why we're able to bring this down. Now, like for example, when you read the, you know, the Old Testament, the New Testament, where it speaks about the Gentiles, an average Christian, no, read that. Matter of fact, get John 3.16. I'm going to show you something, right? John 3.16. Yeah. They love John 3.16. Yeah, we love John 3.16. But we love John 3.16 too. Yeah. <laughs> it says, John 17 and 9. Yeah. All right. John chapter 3, verse 16. Come for God so loved the world yeah. that he gave his only begotten son. So you would read that and, it, and you would literally think that God, that God, you know, loved everybody because he said what? For God so loved the world. Right, so that would mean everybody, the whole entire earth. No, it don't mean that. Because if you go into the Greek, the word there is cosmos. Now, if it was so much everybody, the Greek word would be implemented, which means the whole entire inhabitant of the earth. But it don't mean that. Go on. All right. That he gave his only begotten son, yeah. that whosoever believeth in him yeah. should not perish, but have everlasting life. Exactly. So who's going to believe in on him? Israelites are going to believe in on him. Why? Because they were the ones that were given the adoption. Which how was I doubt on the cross? I go and read that. Yeah. Yep. Back up. John chapter 17 verse 9. Right. I pray for them. Yep. I pray not for the world. Right. And that's twofold because see, the law said I, I pray I pray for them, but I pray not for the world. So what world did he not pray for? He didn't pray for two thirds of his own people, all right? And he didn't pray for the actual world. Everybody, all right? His only concern was up to, to the nation of Israel or and the elect go on, of, that, of that nation. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 17. But Israel shall be saved right. in the Lord. They didn't say any other nation. They didn't, make, they didn't mention the son of um, Elam, or the sons of Esau, or the sons of Ham. They mentioned Israel shall be saved in the, in the everlasting salvation. Yeah. He shall not be shamed or confounded. World or without, without end. So that's the world that the Lord chose. That's right. The world of Israel. So, so, so they think they're going, brother. Like, you know, Christopher Columbus, yeah. when he went and conquered... Um, the Northern Kingdom, Spanish, they said they were going to the New World because that part of the world weren't discovered yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm These I'm Christians, we, we all went to that Christian church, you know what I mean? Yeah. But they can't answer basic scriptures um, yeah. because right. they don't know the scriptures. They, they don't know, know. Yeah. because the Christians, and it's funny what you said, because um, the thing with the Christians, they really don't go by what the Bible is saying. And I want to and 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 prove why. Because when you understand the average Christian, what do they celebrate? They celebrate all of the holidays that they've made up or that they got from the pagans. But there's no holidays that they actually celebrate that's in the Bible. They don't celebrate the Passover. They don't celebrate the, uh, the, what is it, the, um, the day of a nook. They don't celebrate the Sabbath day. They don't celebrate these days in the Bible. They're celebrating days that came outside of them. So their doctrine is not biblically based, it's based on tradition. Okay. Man, it's been great speaking with you, brother, but I need to teach me to go, man. Alright, All right, man, yeah, take care of yourself, man. Yeah. Alright, man. And that's true, man, but they, that's why um, you need to uh, understand, like, the last few weeks, you've been saying it all the time. It's just not given on to them, man. Yep. Yeah. Alright? Like, when I went uh, to the toilet, you know that fishing group there? Yeah. They stopped me, innit? 
But but you know what? I didn't want to get into it. I wanted to, you know what I mean? They should come over here. You should you should have told them, brother. Yeah, that's what I said to them. Come over here. Yeah. You know? But they love everyone and, and our people. They're not really bothered about them, their own salvation. Mm. They're bothered about their enemies. The world. Yeah, they're mad. You just gotta leave them alone, man. Yeah, I mean, they're just being brainwashed, brother, to, to believe that the world came, the Lord came for the world. Because they're just reading what the scriptures are saying, but they're reading the Bible data. Yeah. There's no understanding. No understanding. This is Zechariah. Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8. Mm. And it shall come to pass that in the land, the Lord, yeah. two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Right, two parts of this shall be cut off and die. Go on. But the third shall be left therein. Right, so you're gonna have the two thirds, they're not going you know, repent back to the Lord. Alright, and they're gonna pretty much receive the recompense of their error, and that's gonna be to their own destruction. Okay, but you're gonna have the elect that's gonna be grafted in. Like the man was saying that came up here about how you got certain Christians. You know, they'll read what's in the scriptures, but they won't they won't actually go by what's in the scriptures. Yeah. Okay? Because they don't have the understanding, but that's okay because they have to perish. Although you do have a lot of jakes coming out of the Christian church. Alright? Because a lot of them are becoming Israelites and they are subscribing to, you know, um, the truth. But you still got an enormous amount of our people that's into this to this bullshit. Christianity gone, brother. And now we bring the third part through the fire. I will refine them as silver is refined. You they're going to be tried. They're going to go through hell and, and, and pretty much back to peace again in the kingdom. Okay? Because through much tribulation, that's how we're going to be tried and purified. Go on. And we'll try them as gold is tried. Right. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. Right. And they shall call on my name and I will hear them. Right. So, in order for us to call on the name of the Lord, we have to have his name, I-U-I-C. They like to say, oh, we don't have to 